little baby bird sitting in the snow over there. So look at that. And which one of those three does he look like? You could take a two-year-old or you could take a hundred-year-old. Everyone is going to enjoy pulling on a pair of boots and stomping around in the creek. It's just another day at the office for Camp Canopy class instructor Marissa Lotzenheiser. Well, it's hard to not enjoy getting in a stream. That's a bug. I know it's a crawfish. This week-long camp combines educational sessions like this one on stream monitoring with instructors from Ohio's top natural resource organizations. Sometimes water snakes have similar coloration to copperheads, so that is another snake that people often get confused with. It's the perfect mix of forestry, wildlife, and adventure. If you come to Camp Canopy, you care about the outside. So these kids come to me with questions that like your normal field trip child probably wouldn't say because they already are super interested in the outdoors. These incoming high school freshmen through seniors come from across Ohio and the Midwest. It's funny, at the beginning of the week they're very quiet and at the end of the week you start to see that interaction where they're more comfortable with one, of one another. The camp draws back co-director Marnie Tichnell year after year. Kind of like a little bracelet. This is actually my 10 year anniversary as a co-director, so very exciting. And she says whether the campers are learning about monitoring a stream or wildlife, this is the place where nurture and nature find the perfect balance. We had um, actually two, two students that were at camp for multiple years. They actually won a, a, one of the scholarships that we give out at the end of camp, and they attended the Ohio State University, the School of Environment and Natural Resources, which I am also a part of. And uh, I got to see them in the halls, attending classes and, and doing their thing. And now they're off in the natural resources field uh, uh, with starting their careers out. So it's been really great to see they started here and they just kept going. And that is the ultimate goal, laying a foundation for a future supporting the outdoors. They can see that people like me and like all my peers, you know, we get paid to do work that we love and you can go to school here, you can learn about the fish and the uh, ecosystems right here in Ohio and then you can kind of perpetually do that as a career.